Welcome, welcome, welcome. Whether you are new or returning, this is Creatives Unmuted Podcast. Mic tap, voice ready, where creatives and artists come to unmute their voice and elevate and transform their creativity. I am your host, Rowena Turner, an abstract artist, creative consultant, and entrepreneur. My mission and purpose is to help other artists and creatives use their gifts and birth new ideas into the world. When we are overflowed with ideas, it can be hard to distinguish which ones to get started with first, which ones should we make a priority, and just where to begin. This message is for people that have too many ideas and don't know how to organize and begin to execute. So today I want to talk about two main tips that I incorporate when I have too many ideas and I just have a lot going on and how I began to siphon through and manage through the hustle and bustle of the everyday life as a creative. And what I'm about to say next may seem simple, but don't overcomplicate it. That's where you begin to get confused and get stressed out and it just starts to bubble over and it's actually really three tips instead of uh, two but you begin to understand when you break down your task and ideas into steps which I'm getting into the first um, tip will allow you to organize your thoughts a lot better and find structure. So the first tip you wanna do is dump all of your ideas that you have into a journal, a book, a notebook, or your sketchbook, or somewhere where you can go back and look on the ideas that you have created for yourself on a regular basis. You want to be able to reference this whenever you have an idea or just make space to add on to other ideas. This will often help you go back to the drawing board, but start from experience. Start from what you already have so you're not fishing for something new every time because that is really a part of the cycle that leads to burnout. When you feel so overwhelmed or you feel like you're reaching or grasping for straws when you can't find what you're actually looking for. And this way, with just dumping out your ideas in one specific place, you're able to go to these ideas anytime you need them, but also have this for whenever you're ready to create. I have not, I can't even count on my hands anymore how many times going back to my sketchbook or my journal has helped me create and come up with ideas that I've had years later or months later or even just to create content or maybe help somebody else create content. So just begin by dumping all of your ideas. The second tip is actually organizing these into different categories so I will use I'll use myself as an example so I am an abstract artist and I paint a lot even though I use different mediums Um, painting is really my favorite one next to poetry (laughs) don't forget about poetry but uh, I, I tend to break down my ideas into sections when it comes to painting and also creating content. So for this podcast specifically, I wanted to talk about organization in a way that aligns with artist block, but comes from a different perspective. So in my journal, I will have artist block. And then from there, I have different categories. So what to do if you have too many ideas, what to do if you don't have any ideas, what to do if you're in a rut and you are just blocked completely or if you've been there for years what do you do if it's just procrastination what do you do what do you do and then you know um I said what do you do twice so but like what do you do if you're limited on your supplies what do you do if you have so many supplies how do you manage your supplies when you're in artist block you know these are all different things 
that are related to artist block. And I also have, I believe, like how to organize my studio during artist block and just different things that all relate to that topic that will get you shifting your gears and using this as a as a um, artist, your block as a mechanism for growth. Think about it as a catalyst, as a tool, because it frequently happens. <laughs> no matter what, you will go through a creative rut many times in life. And it's not just a one time and that's it. No, it happens a lot, even to myself, where I have too many ideas or the ideas that I have just aren't resonating with me. And I just don't know what to do. I'm frustrated. Um, you know, I began to just do different things and feel like I need to overwhelm my plate instead of, you know, just having my mindful time to relax and began to incorporate different activities or just sit down and just write out what's going on with myself. So having that time to brain dump some of my ideas and then go back to the drawing board and then organize those ideas into different categories is really something that'll help you in the long run just to get started. Part two will be coming shortly, which will talk about the third step that I mentioned that breaks down this process even more for you. And you can begin to implement some of these strategies right now. This is something that you can do today and, you know, no more wasting time. And if you need some additional assistance, feel free to reach out to me and I am more than happy to help you along your journey as a creative, finding that creative spark within you, or just getting your ideas into reality. So as always, I have resources linked down below for you, including webinars. I'll be releasing a ebook shortly. This is currently, we're in October. So I hope, I really hope to release this ebook at the end end of October or early November. Um, this will begin the series of finding your inner creative. I haven't named it yet, but I have a few journals and ebooks and worksheets and just different things of that caliber to help you begin your creative journey and get started. And if you go to my link tree below, you'll be one of the first to know you can sign up for my newsletter and you know get goodies and i'll also be doing a giveaway of some art prints so stay tuned for that and with that you know thank you so much for being a part of this community thank you for being a blessing in my life and i hope that i can in turn be a blessing in yours so i just want to thank you so much for your time your support and your energy listening to this podcast. I thank you. I love you and I bless you. Mwah.